Good afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Vance. I'd like to share with you something that's just deep in my heart. Um, you know, it's been a long process since Josh passed away. It's been three years, seven months. And this movie called Nicholas Nickleby, it's written by Charles Dickens. It's a movie that is just so powerful, all the relationships and all the inner workings and twistings of the relationships and how, you know, you think you hid some things, you think you did away with things, and then these relationships resurface and they're all interconnected. And it's just a great movie. If you've never watched, it's called Nicholas Nickleby. It's a safe movie for the whole family and it will really impact you. Um, today I experienced some of that, you know, just intertwining relationships and things from the past. And I was faced with just having to deal with some stuff today. And, you know, you don't ever get over complete trauma or loss. You move forward, you learn how to live, you live with a limp. But when things are awakened, they're very raw. And you've got to figure out, man, what am I going to do with this? Let me just tell you, the best thing to do is walk in forgiveness, walk in love. Don't hold grudges. Life's too short. Realize that you have a heavenly father that created you. It says you've been born again, not with corruptible seed, but incorruptible. That word seed actually comes from the word sperma, which is how we've been born again. So God created us. He's our father and he knows better than us. And we don't we don't see everything. You know, when you look at the, um, the movie, The Shack, it talked about how you see pain through just a little small pinhole. You don't see the bigger picture. Our father sees the bigger picture. So when we're faced with these inner workings and relationships and we think, you know, that's totally in the past. I'll never have to deal with that. Things resurface. They're going to come back around. And I believe it's the work of our father just to take us deeper in love, take us deeper in forgiveness, to help us figure these things out. So wisdom says this, when you're pursuing life and you're going up the mountain, don't, don't do away with all your relationships. Don't, don't treat people terrible because one day you might be in a place where that person you really did wrong or things happen. You might need them or you might have to face them again or they might be connected to someone you really love but didn't know they were connected. You never know. So it's better to always walk in love, treat people with fairness and love and forgiveness um, because life will bring things full circle. And that's what happened to me today. I just want to share wisdom is Walk in love, walk in forgiveness, and allow God to heal you even when the pain is resurfaced and seems really raw again. He can do it. So I hope this encourages you. You can make it. You have to learn how to go forward with loss. You have to learn how to go forward with trauma. And no matter what you're facing, God is with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's what he says in his word. So I hope this encourages someone. God bless you. Wisdom says keep seeking God. Keep moving forward. God bless you. If you enjoyed this, Join our YouTube channel, like it. You can also get notifications. We're going to go live on Sundays. We're building our YouTube channel up. So take time just to like the button right there and subscribe to our channel. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.